Texas Governor Greg Abbott said he is working to pardon an army sergeant who was convicted Friday of killing a protester at a Black Lives Matter rally in 2020. Daniel Perry, a white army sergeant and co-driver, has been charged with the of Garrett Foster, who was also white in 2021, at a Black Lives Matter protest Austin, Texas. He was also charged with aggravated assault and lethal conduct with a LY weapon for his behavior at the protest. A Travis County jury found Perry, 35, guilty of on Friday. The jury found him not guilty of aggravated assault with a LY weapon, and the lethal conduct charge is still pending at the district attorney's office. Perry, Abbott tweeted Saturday afternoon. In tweet, Republican governor explained that Texas law allows governor decide whether to grant a pardon from state's parole parole board, and that he made this request instructed board expedite its review. Abbott also cited Texas be glorious law, which he calls one of the most powerful in the country. Perry's attorney, Clint Broden, told CNN he was disappointed by the decision. We are disappointed with the decision, as it relates both Daniel Perry and a citizen's ability to defend himself, Broden said in a text message CNN on Saturday. Sergeant. Perry will of course appeal the decision, and we hope the case will eventually be overturned on appeal. In response to Abbott's tweet, the amnesty process was out of our control, he added. He said Perry's legal team is focused on the upcoming criminal trial and enumerating the evidence against Sergeant. Perry's character and his service to our country. Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza described Abbott's comments that he would intervene in the case as deeply disturbing. Make no mistake, without governor's intervention, defendant's conviction will be reviewed by both state and federal courts, who will review records to ensure that no legal errors were made at this level and that evidence supports conviction, Garza said. Perry's defense argued that he shot Foster in self-defense after Foster approached his car with an assault-style rifle. According to his lawyers, Perry was an active duty sergeant working for a rideshare service to earn extra money at the time of the. His defense said he left a client near protest and did not know that the protest was taking place following of George Floyd. According to his lawyers, he was carrying a gun in his car to protect himself as a driver. According CNN's KYE, prosecution claimed that Perry started match by running a red light to return crowd gathered for police brutality protest and had previously posted on social media about protesters. Foster, 28, shortly after being shot. Garza said he will continue to fight for a foster family and a justice system that treats everyone equally. I know how long they've been waiting for justice for Garrett and his family. I can only imagine how difficult justice is for them right now, and for that I'm indescribably sorry," he said. A judge is expected to set up a sentencing hearing for Perry on Monday.